everyone, it's Beth, and today I am going to be just giving you some updates on how things are going for me here in the DAP space. So, stay right there. Okay, so before we get started, if you're new to the channel, then please do hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on post notifications. And of course, please everyone leave the video a like because they make me happy. Okay, um, so the first thing I wanna talk about today is that there has been some less than great news here coming out of Tron Knights. So we were hoping that we would be seeing um, the release of the pvp mode as well as the daily quests sometime this week however it appears that the developer has um well he's he's not been online in about a week so um it is not looking that encouraging that that will be forthcoming in the near term future so right now this is going to continue to be an idle game so the good news is that if you are already in this, there is still um, about 9 million, maybe 8, closer to 8 million, um, Tron here still in the contract that hasn't yet been paid out. So um, it does, right? Yeah, I think that's right. Okay. Uh, so it does um, give you a fair amount of time to, if you haven't already been withdrawing, then, um, you know, you should certainly, I think, how about this? I am withdrawing from this contract at this point. So um, again, you know, the way that the strategy game is set up, half of what of your daily earnings do get put into the treasury. So um, I'm still buying settlers. Now I'm, I'm back to just buying settlers at this point. I was trying to save up and buy some scouts instead. But um, at this point, I am just buying settlers because I am just trying to reach that additional hourly payout as quickly as possible. So um, that is the situation over here at Tron Knights. Certainly, I hope that the dev will resurface and those um, game modes will be coming. But, you know, until then, I am definitely withdrawing everything I can from this contract. I, I, honestly, though, that is not new for me. I approach all of these dApps with the mindset of withdrawing as much as I can after my initial investment as quickly as I can, because you never know what will happen to these contracts um, here in the space, you know, how long there's going to continue to be Tron to, to pay them out. So um, that is what's going on here. And there we go. That's really all there is to say. All right. So, I mean, next up is here at uh, Tron Land, which is still really pretty early over here at Tron Land. So they've paid out 1.3 million Tron. They have had invested 10.3 million Tron. So there is still a bunch in this contract that is, you know, still to be paid out. So um, I still think that this is really nice and early, and I'm definitely hoping that I will be able to get my ROI on this without any issue because it is so early here in this game. So there are, I mean, when I started this, there were, I think like 183 players. So, you know, certainly there's a lot more in here now than when I started. And I have, you know, I've, I'm up to nine plantations now. I do have seven rice plantations. I'm about to buy another one whenever this reaches 3000. So um, that is my strategy here with this one is to buy as many rice plantations as I can and um, increase that profit per hour on this one as well. Same with Tron Owls. Um, I really think that I have pretty much as many owls as I want right now. Um, I am going to make sure that I'm continuing to withdraw. I didn't listen to my own advice and I, I was reinvesting into this contract to try to, you know, compound what I was getting and get more owls and again you know they they do make that very attractive here because you get a 30 percent discount on all the owls if you use the magic that you're paid out to purchase them so um that was really appealing to me so i did go ahead and do that and now i am up to eight owls 
But at this point, I am going to be withdrawing until I at least get closer to my ROI on this one. And then um, let's, we'll keep talking about Tron here for a second. So Dutron, the shoot game is out and man, the div pool really dried up super fast with this one, a lot faster than I really anticipated. I thought I would at least have a, a few days of paying sweet divs, but um, it is what it is, right? So I did, I played a bunch of this. I got myself uh, just under a thousand shoot tokens and I, you know, oh, that's even <laughs> just went down. So, um, you know, I'm only looking to get about right now, three, 3.86 Tron in nine hours. Hopefully that'll go up a bit, but uh, honestly, the dew pool looks even worse over here. So it is in the negative with their, uh, their the div pool over here on the dew side. So I'm gonna be getting nothing for my 1300 tokens over here for that one. But again, long-term, these are, you know, I, I had fun accumulating these tokens. That's most important. I think that this space is fun. So, you know, that, that really helps me a lot to be here. Um, but uh, I, I'm, I am going to continue to hold on to these because I'm certainly hoping that the price of Tron will go up and that these little payouts will become much more lucrative for me. So I was reading an article that speculated Tron at five cents soon, which would be just amazing. I think the first time I bought Tron, when I FOMO'd into Tron, it was like, what was the all-time high? Like 18 cents. So um, yeah, I, I'm certainly hoping that we'll at least go back and revisit that number. Um, if not, see closer to a dollar, right? That would be awesome. So certainly the Tron network has just exploded this year. So hopefully um, the price for Tron will you know, move along with the with the usage of the network. So, um, and also they just released their version of the um, of Tether. So uh, that uh, that should be hopefully helpful as well. So the Tron Foundation is certainly out there doing lots of things and trying to spur the the use of of the network. So, okay. Uh, next up, we're going to talk about Tron Bank. So. The contract on Tron Bank is diminishing at this point. So I am continuing to withdraw from it. As far as my actual um, investment goes though, I'm at 83% of my ROI. So I still feel very confident that I will um, definitely secure some profits here because this contract did so well after I got into it. So that's great. I'm still really happy with that. I did not get into the BTT side and I'm feeling very good about that because this contract has really, I, I don't know if something happened to it, but it is really depleted quickly. So, um, but in any case, the um, Tron Bank overall, I'm happy with how it has worked out for me. So over here at Bankroll, next up, um, Bank Teller, that's the, the dev guy over in Telegram. He has advised everyone to withdraw from bankroll and to hold their Tron for the upcoming release of something. So um, that is certainly, I, I just want to give people that heads up if you didn't hear that elsewhere, that um, the advice of the dev is to withdraw. So of course I, I have been withdrawing um, overall. So. I'm almost at ROI on my total credits to what I've withdrawn. So, you know, I, again, I got in nice and early on this one. So I'm feeling very good about that. If you haven't noticed, the moral of all of these is you got to get in early. If you miss them when they first launch, well, if I miss, how about this? If I miss them when they first launch, I just wait for another one because these things are a dime a dozen and you certainly don't know when they launch what they're going to do. But that is why I believe in diversification in this space. I definitely get into a lot of these, like a lot. It's really starting to tax my computer to have so many of these open. But um, that is my strategy. And overall, I, I think that it has been working fairly well for me. Of course, there are some that are total losers and I do not reach my ROI for. But, um, you know, mostly... Mostly I come at least close, if not get a little profit, and I definitely have some fun in the process. So that's what really matters. 
All right. And then last one here I want to talk about on Tron right now is Tron Crush has announced that they are going to be having some more games come out as well as doing an update to their user interface. So um, I think that that would is great and they also um, rather than paying out every day they're going to let the div pool build up a little bit before they pay out so that should make it a little more attractive to users so i am looking to get two tron in a little open a little under one one day eight hours so um you know it's certainly not a lot but again um i i'm just kind of holding i mean i'm just holding all these tokens for the long term so um, I'm certainly, I'm not really playing the the token market as far as just speculating on the price. So that's, that's what I'm doing. I don't know, maybe I should, but I haven't been. So, okay. Oh, wait more. I want more Tron one, and that is Tron next. So um, I'm still playing this one. I'm still trying to increase the number of um, tokens that I do hold for this, for this dividend payer here. Um, I'm still looking at getting about 4,200 Tron per month. Of course, that number is, you know, fluctuating as the percentage of I, what I hold compared to what's frozen changes. So, um, because they are just trickling this out, you know, I really don't know how that's going to work out for me in the long term. But um, right now, I'm, I'm trying to keep it around six Tron per hour for my payouts here with this div pool. So if that becomes too difficult to do, if it becomes too expensive to try to, you know, to try to keep that number here with, um, with Tron next, then, you know, I won't do that. But I do think that the slot game is pretty fun. I've been playing that. Um, so, you know, some of them I, I lose and some of them I don't. So, um, there you go. And I think, I think the slots are fun. So I also play the Blinko. I also play the dice. I play a little bit of everything and just try to get some tokens. I definitely bet more on the dice at, you know, playing under 95. So not a lot, but I, I'll bet 100 at a time and just try to mine some tokens that way. So that's my strategy with that one. And then over here with IOST, um, IOST ROI is still holding really quite nicely with its contract fund. It's approaching 10 million IOST and it has been paying out reliably and it withdraws nice and quick. And um, I have withdrawn so far um, 189 tokens after I put in a thousand. So again, I am certainly hoping that I won't have a problem getting my ROI on this one. I did get in the day after it launched. So uh, the, contract value, the contract has gone up since I got in, which is great. Okay. Then um, over here with IOST Play, I'm still playing all three of these games as well. And I think that they are fun. And I have um, a stack, a, a nice stack of tokens. So at least I hope, I really, there's still not information about um, how many tokens overall are held by users at this point. So um, hopefully that information will be released soon because I'm certainly curious. But uh, in the meantime, I have been... Like I think overall I'm like up on this casino, so um, I feel really very good about having acquired so many div tokens, and I haven't lost. I don't think I've lost anything on um, as far as my iOS holding goes, so that's great too. And then last but not least here today is um, Endless Game, which is still holding really quite strong here with. Um, What's going on here? I think I probably need a refresh. Yep, so it's really holding on quite nicely with the div pool here. Not that I'm getting a lot, but I don't have a lot staked either. So um, I am getting 1.12 IOST today. I got a, just around two yesterday, so that is nice. And again, this the way that this is right now is for every one IOST you're betting, you're getting one in IET reward. So um, I think that that's really generous. But of course, that's why there's so many tokens out there. All right, that's going to do it for today, everyone. I do hope that you liked the video. If you did, then please do leave it a like. And if you'd like to see more from me, please subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those down in the comments section. And um, I'll have referral links to 
a couple things that I've talked about today in the um, description box for the video. So thank you very much for your time today. I will see you next time.